cover of that song for years is The Big Sky, and we played it for so many years, it kind of got bored with it. Oh, oh man, did we get bored with it. What do you see what we're about to do? Take a little twist on an old song, put it with another old song, I'm sure you might be able to hear the progression. And go over time. It does what music does, yeah. and it it's become a sort of a Derek, that's like a Derek Long original version of it, and I really love it. So. It's called Lethargy. <laughs> it's called Let Her Go, but one time years ago, it was like such bad handwriting on a set list. Somebody goes, wait, what song do we play that's called Lethargo? <laughs> so it's just stuck. So this new we call it, we call it that, if no one else does. <laughs>
first starting yeah, practice. Because he kept saying Lethargo? Lethargo, I'm like, I don't know what song he's talking about. Lethargic or what? Yeah, lethargic, man. Like two different versions of every song. <laughs> we, the three of us have a lot of experience writing tunes separately and together. And we talk, like I said earlier, a lot about um, the person we become after we've written a song. Or what that, or what the song that our past selves has written for our future selves, in a way. But then also, we talk a lot about connecting with the tune. And sometimes it's strange because we might not be able to connect with the tune that one of us wrote. So we have to kind of give it meaning or find a middle ground. This song is a really funny example because back in the day when we wrote this song with Brett, who's our a former member of the Big Sky. We sang this song for years, and he thought it was about his dad. Not that there's anything funny. Not that that's not, it's, just it's funny totally that fine, a part of but we, song were, too, so we were like in the car one day, and we're like, that's what that song is, man. Like, this is the grief of the tune. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> So you can you can connect often and not know that you are, I think.